All right, so this video is going to be about patience or how I view it uh, or the causation of patience or impatience. And I just believe it's, it's mainly attributed to uh, the rate of change in terms of processing speed, uh, contentment, and as well, it's also a probability uh, based on that because in any given situation, let's let's suppose, you know, uh, you're fixated in this like world where there's multiple worlds, and each world has different levels. And let's suppose that the initial world, uh, the pace of society, is slow relative to let's say world two, world three to the world end. So it keeps going in progression, and let's just suppose that the the time constraint is equal. So the transition period into a new world is equivalent. So you, we could define the time as, you know, X, just define as X. And so the whole time is, uh, you know, your life is basically going to be composed of N times X. Or uh, not really N because you may die within the, within, uh, you may not die at the end of the uh, world, so like the end world, and you know maybe it's a, it's in between. So I'm not to complicate things, but just let's suppose that each world is more 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 progresses at a faster rate relative to the previous. So it's like an iteration formula. Um, so you can imagine that you know if you let's say you put a population in there, and based on the initial population. Uh, let's say you scatter randomly the processing capabilities, the initial point. So clearly, like early on, you know, there, everyone had possesses a different processing speed. It's it's kind of like it's analogous to frame rates. If you watch a movie, it seems continuous, but in actuality, it's not continuous uh, because there has to be an input that is processed by the brain before you realize, you know, or be able to process it internally and understand or come to grips of what just happened in that any event so there's going to be a very very short period but it seems instantaneous because that's a it's 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 so small but the frame rates are happening quite fast such that it seems can you know continuous and of course if we represent it by frame rates uh you know everyone's going to possess it you know within this range but you know let's say it ranges from a to b and, you know, the population is going to exist between that range. So you can imagine that in the initial world, the range is going to be from A to B, A1 to B1. So now you go on to the next world. It becomes a little bit faster. Well, it has to do with survival. You know, in order to survive or adapt to acclimate yourself to an environment, you have to match the conditions imposed by the environment. And if there's a condition such that you need higher processing rate to survive, Eventually, over time, society is going to tend in that direction, and the weak will, well, I won't say weak, but uh, basically, if you don't adapt, if you do not adapt or you choose not to, or you choose, like, you let things defeat you, of course, it's going to, you know, you're less likely to survive. Not necessarily that you're, you're, you're it's not being, like, weak, but it, it's, it's, it's basically, uh, you know, not, not, um, genetically, you know, it's, 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 some are going to be fortunate relative to others. It's always going to be the case that it's, it's predicated by your parents and, you know, how, if your parents were healthy or they worked hard or physically, it gets passed on. So it's really just, it's a function. It's always going to be a function of, what ex previous existed and of course at that point you can't really consider like at that starting point uh if you let that drag you down the unfortunate reality that you know the genetics is not optimized relative to the upper bound well of course if you let that affect you or well, there is no movement of course you can anyone can try to improve that their lineage and you know, that, that's the key is like whatever happened previously, there was improvement, 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 went in you know, certain direction. 
and you know they try tried to adapt and ultimately therefore the transition is more smooth into a future period because uh, the adaptation seems more it's more smooth transition so processing speed yes you have to adapt you have to choose to do some you have to work you basically have to challenge yourself uh, and ultimately in different situations but of course it depends on the region so like if you're in like a let's say this world and the world has um, you everyone has let's say suppose they have just one job it's pretty localized and a job basically you need a certain processing rate to perform it you have to do it in based on the demands of society at a certain rate so of course uh, you know you're gonna have to survive you have to take on this rate you have basically have to adapt to it and you have to start going at it at the rate that is needed well if you move in the world too let's suppose that the job becomes more there's more variables and the rate changes you have to perform your tasks in a faster rate so let's say everything gets condensed so within each task it has to be it's slowly condensed towards zero and you're added more tasks more additional responsibility well of course to survive you have to continue the process and you keep going layers of complexity with each world well if you compare world n versus world one what you're going to find is it's going to uh accentuate the upper limit's going to expand and the lower limit's also going to raise so essentially you're 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 keep tending towards the infinite limit and uh ultimately what this does is it's like uh uh, those who did challenge themselves, you know, and actually worked and, you know, some have to work harder. So, but if you do challenge yourself and you fit into the system and you ultimately, uh, increase the processing rate, well, it, the, the thing is, is when it's more equally distributed, which in this case it would be because it's only one job and therefore, you know, there, there's only like, let's say there's like a fixed rate that needs to be uh, a cheat, you know, it's basically the demands is, let's say, relatively fixed. So it kind of, it kind of uh, comp compresses a range. But relative to what we have now, now we have distribution of many different areas, many different job tasks that have, you know, different rates, and we have different levels of uh, progression. So if you go to undeveloped, more undeveloped areas, well, of course, it depends also, fight, fight or flight, whenever you're in a fight or flight situation, your processing speed has to increase. So if you're exposed to that at a higher frequency, that has to increase. So, uh, but if you're like in a calm area where people like uh, value relaxation or meditation, well, meditation slows the processing speed. You basically get in a serene area. You're, you're, you're actually, your alpha waves increase you, based because your brain composed of alpha, delta, which is during sleep, and you have beta, which is during uh, usually work, and then you know you have exposed when you're alert, and then you have gamma, which is like in near death experiences, and then you know when you're in near death experiences, time your perception of time changes. It basically, what ends up happening is processing rate increases relative to your initial or normal normal range, I would say, uh, and within that normal range, you can define like a midpoint. And it's, it's kind of related to that midpoint. The perception is related. So the distance between the distinction, difference between the, the new perception or the new range of processing speed relative to the midpoint is what dictates the expansion or contraction of time perception. So like if processing speed increases, think about frame rates. You have a frame rate that normally you, you pull in X amount of bits per unit event frame. And within each event frame, if, if you're processing more bits of information, equalized bits, well, now let's suppose you ha now you have like X times, let's say you, 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 your normal limit is uh, X. Well, now it's going to be alpha times X where alpha is greater than one. So if you fit, now you're fitting in multiple events. Uh, it, it's basically alpha type events. Alpha events have passed by there are frames so you know now what's that end up happening is time is expanded and but in actual terms like what we reference time is the cycle of the sun and the moon 
So within that period, it's like we reference it as fixed. So essentially, you think time expands, or in your mind you perceive it, but in actuality it's not, so therefore time uh, slows down in your view. Now if you go the opposite direction, well, you're pulling in less bits, so it takes, uh, now it takes beta, let's just say it's uh, beta times x. Well, beta is less than 1. Well, now it takes beta, to, you have to, you have a multiplier, how many times you need to, uh, if, if beta is like a fraction, for instance, well, you have to multiply uh, well, one fifth, one eighth, you have to multiply eight times, for instance, or five times to get to the initial point. So essentially, now what ends up happening is you, you know, within that original frame, uh, it, it, just, it just seems like, uh, or how would I put it? It, it, it? It's like you have a, a, within that original frame, let's say that past, well, you're only pulling in a subset of the number of original bits. So essentially, uh, you think more time has actually uh, uh, passed. So time actually is essentially flies because um, what ends up happening is you, you think less time has passed because you're, you're compressing everything, but in actuality, more time has passed. So that's why I kind of like, okay, shoot, you know, it's like, it's like, time has flown by it's already like uh it's like in a day you're, you know you you think uh um you you know you 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 consider uh less time because it's compressed but in actuality you look at the clock and it, it, more time has passed so that that's why like it, it seems to speed up when processing rate slows down so kind of like the inverse reaction it slows down time actually in actuality uh, it's 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 it speeds up relative to your perception. So, you know, given that uh, scenario, these scenarios, time or your processing speed has to increase when uh, the demands of society increase. So, if there's like if things have to speed up to satisfy the condition for survival, processing speed has to in increase. So it depends, like, if you're in a stressful society, well, it has to increase. If you're in a calming area, you're content with being a low, lower processing speed to satisfy the demands or the reward signaling. So essentially, what ends up happening is because the distribution is so vast. In the U.S., of course, things relatively speed up because to survive, you need to meet more demands. In other areas, it's not the case. So if you translate, you know, the areas that have like, or it could be uh, areas that value meditation or calming and they shift into a chaotic area like uh, US where now like the speed limit's higher. Every, you know, a lot of these different areas or the requirements for a job is higher. Well, it's going to cause more chaos uh, initially. It's going to be harder to adapt depending on the distance. And therefore, and what facilitates the impatience is really because our reward signaling is proportional to movement. So if you're always used to, it could be in any different domain. If you're always used going to areas X, Y, Z, X1, X2, X3, all the way to Xn, well, if you expand the number of elements and reduce the time to achieve that output, well, essentially the probability of having impatience increases because now if you shift some some barriers, let's say some, like you shift a population that has lower processing speed because of the environment. Well, now they become barrier, you know, essentially they could become a barrier. They slow down the progression that you receive the reward. And therefore you're getting, if you're getting less reward at lower, it, it, you know, less reward in a given time, in a frame or event frame, it's going to depreciate the overall reward. And therefore it's going to create potential for impatience because impatience is like an emotional reaction. And it's tied to that. It's tied to what you want, what you desire. And if you can't get in that certain frame because of this barrier, then ultimately it's going to facilitate that. So that's where contentment comes into the equation. Because ultimately, if you consider this or know this, well, 
it doesn't have to be like the world doesn't revolve around us, you know, and uh, it, you know now I think it's just with especially you know the new generation it's it's getting a problematic with like uh, so we're saturated with so many things that give us reward f feedback, and it's amazing because what exists today is insurmountable compared to what exists previously. What we have access today is exponential relative to what I access previously. And therefore, we receive more potential reward in different ways uh, relative to the past. And we have access to different pathways for reward. So the key is like understanding that and, you know, the world, it, you know, doesn't have to be, we can't, shouldn't have these, uh, the key is to dampen or reduce these reactions because we can't control uh, these given scenarios. There's going to exist a scenario such that, you know, something is going to, you know, some object, or uh, I would say, someone may not be acclimated to such uh, demands. And because of that, it, it, of course, it's going to uh, be a potential barrier, but understanding that, um, just like if you move into a position that has requires much higher processing capability, it's going to become chaos for you. And, and therefore, it's going to be seen as like uh, relative to others, other person that's organized, it's not chaotic. And so, you know, it, 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 the key is to uh, not let it affect you or influence you so emotionally because ultimately that will reduce the... Uh, it will just be... Uh, it's just a reaction that's unnecessary and because uh, I mean it's it, it, but it's more likely when the processing speed is higher to become impatient it just that's just the way it is uh, when things go higher and higher and higher and higher you think people react slower and slower and slower and slower so when process speed increases well everyone actually seems slower and relative scale so it, it, it could be more of a hindrance. It could be more of annoyance, right? So kind of, yeah, I guess um, finding ways to minimize, dampen the external reaction. Uh, you know, just patience, to me, it is, you know, virtue. It's hard to achieve uh, for everyone. I mean, it's, there's going to be areas when uh, you're put to the test or times when you're put to the test. But I think if you if you're in your interest, if you find an interest, your probability is higher to achieve patience, uh, and that's that's how you know I view it. We all have the propensity to become so, but if we put ourselves in an area that you know, satisfies our interests, well, uh, the reward that we achieve, you know, it, it's basically uh, it doesn't become a hindrance in that case because uh, it, it is based on reward. So if you're not interested in something, the reward you're not going to receive much of a reward relative to interest. So, of course, if you're, in, if you're immersing yourself in such activities that you're not interested in and they get in the way or, 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 or basically you're, you're, you're not going to want to uh, put the time, as much time, into that activity because ultimately or you could become impatient to even performing such activity because it's 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 basically uh slowing you down in such a way because the reward is signaling is at a slower rate and therefore it slows you down so that that's uh, that's just like in any area it's proportional to that it's where you are referencing uh to whatever slows is 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 at a going at a slower rate relative to the rate that you're tr trying to move at. could be where you want to move in life. It could be related to uh, rewards, anything. So uh, I think it's just we got to find, find ways to dampen, dampen a reaction because, yeah, I mean, it's certain negative reactions are, can unnecessarily cause us to or drag us down and kind of get in the way or it, it can be actually a hindrance so it's funny is because yes the patience is due to like some 
perceived hindrance, but at the same time a hindrance, even the reaction hindrance is a hindrance to our own goals or achievements. So by dampening, we reduce that. And ultimately, I think uh, with patience, it's, that's why yeah, it's a virtue. It's something that takes time. It's something that takes time to construct. Uh, like even changing the mindset, it's very, it takes time to construct and to get in a good area because I think it's, it's basically, it's a function of the position that we, we are in uh, our life. Um, you know, the mindset and, you know, the, the, the reaction that we have to external events, uh, is, is, is related to our health, is related to our mental strength, you know, related to so many different areas. So I guess just keeping on improving certain areas, um, but not, um, but doing so with your, you know, the experience and as well as the, uh, or finding in new ways of approaching problems and challenges, and uh, constantly refining, you know, things that uh, have been uh, have been obstacles, you know, and because and being impatient or being reactive to it is essentially form forms uh, an obstacle or forms a, a future obstacle because as you add up the summation of all these different reactions, it can create a larger reaction in the future, a larger, uh, a larger, it could just build up anything, all these, like even emotions, it builds up, it, you know, builds up and eventually it reaches this limit where you reach like an, it could be an explosion or it could be, you know, um, could be, uh, you know, or if it's not released uh, frequently, if you let something build up and let negativity build up, it eventually it causes uh, vol- like in a volcanic explosion. And the key is if you build resistance, you minimize the, you don't reach that limit at, 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 a, at the same rate. Or if you don't let it build up and you actually repress it or find ways to do so same with patience you just you just uh build the resistance and therefore the reactions kind of dampened so i think um you know my view it's just being a journey and it's always trying to improve in different ways and find new ways of doing so and there's always infinitely infinitely many ways that you could approach something you just got to find what works and that that's just how i view it and um, I'm going to stop here um, and hopefully the next topic is, you know, try to get more, you know, so try to get more on par or just um, not be, not, not just create this on the whim, but, uh, you know, I just uh, purpose, like I mentioned before, is to um, I just want to get my ideas out and ultimately it's not, uh, I don't want to, uh, say that this is, you know, you should go this way or, you know, that way. But I think, uh, when ideas are circulated, um, you use it, you choose to use it or you don't use it and whether it could be constructive or it may not be constructive. So, a lot of my ideas are actually a function of previous ideas, previous experiences, previous perceptions, and anything you create is a is a function of that. It's not some you know something you create is not it's not completely novel. It's not something new like completely new because it needed previous input to cre- to facilitate it as a catalyst. Uh, so yeah, just. These ideas or anything that, you know, thoughts that I have, it's, it's just based on the limiting framework that I have. So I'm going to end it right there and I'll see you next time.